Let me guess, you're here because your holiday party fell flat on its face last year and you need to motivate people to show up somehow. No? Walk with me. We're talking about flat lay photography today. Hopefully we can save your holiday party. Roll that intro. With the holidays just around the corner and my mom and sister baking, I figure it would be the perfect time to get into some flat lay photography. And yes, I'm very aware I look stupid in this hat. Let's just jump right into this. First thing you want to take into account with flat lay photography is the backdrop. You want something plain and simple that's not going to distract you from the subject matter. When you're going with flat lay photography, pick a theme. Obviously we're making Christmas cookies, so that's our theme. We've got a whole bunch of props to go with it. When you're setting up your flat lay, focus on positioning. Make sure there's a focal point, the cookies in this one. Make sure it's not too close together because then it looks chaotic and cluttered. And make sure you try different positionings. It might not look good on the first try. Mix it up, see what works and what doesn't. When you're lighting your shot, make sure you have a nice soft box and you put it nice and close. Hard light and food don't mix. And also, if you don't have a light, do your flat lay near a window. When you're taking your pictures, make sure it's a bird's eye view and it's not crooked. It cannot be crooked. And also, you're gonna wanna shoot at a higher f-stop, maybe like f6 to seven, so that all the food is in focus, regardless of how high up it is. Bonus tip. Leave a little bit of white space so you can include things like your mom's cookie recipe, which I'm sure she'll be happy that I'm giving away. Bonus, bonus tip. If you're doing flat lay photography with food, don't eat it. <laughs> 